If you're like me, you're most likely using QuickBooks Online to handle all of your online accounting needs. Now, what that usually means is you're also using the bank feed rules. Now, one of the challenges we run into all the time is when you're looking at the bank fee rules, if you have a whole bunch of these that have been set up as auto add, it can cause you a ton of problems. Unfortunately, there's not very many ways to go in and take that auto add off, except for one by one, except for the way we're going to show you today. So if you have bank feeds and you've got a whole bunch of auto add rules and you want to know how to get rid of each one of those without having to do them one at a time, this is a perfect video for you. Hello everybody, Matthew with Parkway Business Solutions. Now before we get started today, I think it's important to kind of give you a quick little nerd alert. Nerd alert! This is definitely gonna get a little bit nerdy. We're gonna be taking this information from QuickBooks Online. We're gonna take it over to Excel to take a look at how the bank feed rules, like the string of the rules work, and we're gonna do a find and replace to extract all the auto add portions and then re-import the stuff. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started with this here. First thing we're gonna do, of course, is you're gonna go into QuickBooks Online and go into your banking area where you can see the rules. Now, our intention here is to take all these auto ads, which I've added in really quickly to basically demonstrate how it can remove these. So if I don't wanna do these all at once, here's kind of the trick you can do. You're gonna come up here, you're gonna to go to Export Rules. Once these export, it's gonna pop up by itself, and I am doing this on a PC. I apologize, Mac people, but I'm a PC person. I'm gonna go enable this editing on here, then the first thing I do is I click in the very top corner on purpose. I'm going to go wrap text. I'm undoing it so it stretches it out. And then I'm going to click on the lines between A and B here. Double click. So it spaces it nice and clean. This is just doing it to where we can visually see it. That's really the only reason we're doing all this stuff. Now, all this mumbo jumbo, what this really has to do with, we're really focused more on the rule output section. So if we take a look, what we've basically done is you can see that we have this whole setup here of um, showing you the different types of uh, the different rules, what portions we need. So the one we specifically want, of course, is going to be your action type 8, which is for the auto add. So if I come back and we look at our Excel here, I'm going to look at the column 3, and we will bring this up. I'll zoom in a little bit to try to make it a little bit easier here. But you can see value-wise, even at the top, the very, very end of this, we have this action type where it says eight value true. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the file like we talked about, then you can go to a find and replace, and I've already populated this on purpose into here, but I'm gonna do find what, and it's really important that you choose the exact range of information, and I'll put this, uh, we'll, we'll put this into the comments below as well but you have to start with the comma and you end with the little squiggly brackets. This is because at the very top here, these are bracketed pieces that each bracket kind of encloses the other part. Go through and do, you can kind of see by doing one first, I'll go replace once. Oops, we'll highlight all the ones we want to check here. Let's go replace all. You do once, all, you get the point. So what this just did is all of the rules that we specifically had this exact string for, it's removed that string. We'll click OK. We can close this. And then very important, you just want to go and you want to save this right away. So hit your save icon. I recommend downloading two copies of this file. One you're going to save as a backup so you're not worried about it. And then this one, so we'll hit save, that you're going to then be able to pull up and use again uh, once we do this import. So we'll close this out. We'll go back to our QuickBooks Online. I'm going to come into here now. And the reason we have that second backup is we're going to put a little faith into action here. We're going to go select all and we're going to delete these. See you later. Now I know it takes a lot of time to make those rules. That's why you have the backup. Then we're going to come back and go import rules. We're going to choose the file we had already uh, that we just did the work to. Should most likely be in your downloads. And we're going to go open, and we're going to go next. Now you'll know that you did it right if this pops up looking like this right away, okay? And you'll notice all the auto ads are gone at this point. So you're going to click next, and since this information is already in there, basically all of these things should already be filled in for you right away. 
So you may have a couple where things got changed, if you had broken rules, so forth. And you'll just have to quickly come in and add these back on to make sure that they match as needed. So I just went in and basically added in the different names for all of these. And really the reason you're having to put these back in is because it's usually got a parent and then a child account and the rule doesn't really populate the exact same way. But very quickly, all this stuff's there, it makes it real fast. Classes, locations can be put in as well. And then you're gonna click import. It'll go through the import process. If there's any challenges with any of them, it would let you know. But if we now go to finish, we'll go back and look. And the first thing we're gonna see no more auto ads for anything. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. If you wanna know more about some of the secrets behind the scenes on some of this stuff, let us know in the comments and I'll be happy to make more of the videos. Thanks again and hope you guys all have a, wonder, a very successful week.